Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'm actually doing a quick review on a lens, but I just wanted to show you something. This is my little carry around all day long, take it with me pretty much wherever I go, camera bag with my little camera in it. And I just wanted to show you that one of the reasons why I have got um, gone full th four th micro four thirds as opposed to full frame. So this is a small bag, you know, it's not quite, you know, it's, it's a bit bigger than my head. It's about the same size as my head. Um, a nice little bag. It's not heavy. I could carry that happily all day long. But this is the fun part. All right, look at what you get in it. So let's just open it up and pop the stuff. Right, I've got the OMD EM5 with a wrist strap and a 17mm 1.8 prime lens. I have got a mini tripod. In the side pockets, I've got spare batteries, SD cards, close-up lenses, and a flash. I won't get all those out for now. Then I've got, this, this is the actual uh, review I'm doing, 60 mil macro lens, 45 mil 1.8. I love this lens. Can more people watch these videos? Because the more people that watch these videos and gives them thumbs up and subscribe, the more money I make. And the more money I make, I might eventually be able to buy this bloody lens. <sighs> Please subscribe. Please thumbs up. Mm. 75 1.8. So that's it. So that is pretty much, you know, what more would you want? Perhaps a longer telephoto lens. Um, yeah, well, that's easy. I could still easily get, um, say, the 45 to 175 in there if I wanted to, perhaps to replace it, place that one with it, um, something like that. But that's in this little tiny bag. We've got four lenses, one camera body, a flash, and all the other bits and bobs. I mean, this is what Micro Four Thirds about, and... Um, it blows me away, it really does. It's a joy to carry it around all day. You don't have to think, oh, I'll go out today, I'll leave these two behind, and I'll just take these two, because it's too heavy. Um, it's uh, it's a case of, like, I can just get everything, you know, go for a slightly bigger bag, and um, I'll put everything in, you know, put two bodies in, it doesn't matter. I went out today and I had two bodies, I had the EM1 and the EM5 and it to save swapping lenses and it was just absolutely fine it, they're not heavy they're not cumbersome or anything so anyway this review <laughs> is about let's just whip that off plop it there this funny little thing which i'm in two minds about it's not on my wish list um but then i did something and i thought oh maybe maybe i don't know um so anyway Let's pop it on. So it's the 60 mil um, 2.8 macro. Now, yeah, it's only a 2.8, not a 1.8. And there is a reason I say that, which will become clear. And well, actually I say it now, it's because it's quite close to the 75 1.8 with regards to obviously focal length. So it will be good for portraits and things, but also it does the macro, whereas this, it's okay at macro, but it's really more portrait and it's obviously a long telephoto being a 150mm equivalent, whereas this is a 120mm equivalent. But I'm thinking actually, is this more usable? Hmm, interesting. So first of all, the, the quality of it, it's really nice quality, but it's really light and it's very long and thin. It's a funny looking thing, to be fair, but it's still nice. And... Um, tiny little thing for 46 mil on the front there filter thread nice bit of glass in there and it's an interesting thing when you turn it on let's just get it turned on it there's a little scale thing here and it, it moves around and we've got we've got different options so on the side i've got a switch here which is a bit fiddly for me and we've got 0.4 meters to infinity 
Then you've got the next one, which I'm guessing is what you'd have it on uh, in what I'd say normal photography, which is 0.1 meters, 0.19 meters to infinity. And I'm guessing that's going to take the longest to focus because uh, it's the maximum range, etc. Then the next one is 0.19 of a metre to 0.4 of a metre. So that's a very narrow range and that's going to be quick focus in between that range. And then you press it again and it goes one to one. But then as you focus, it sort of comes away from that a little bit. It's a bit of a weird, funny thing when you start watching this little scale going, it jumps backwards and forwards and does all weird and wonderful things. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a funny old beast really. But anyway, so let's just think about it in the 0.19 to infinity. Well, what it actually becomes is a very nice... Um, Fast focusing, not the fastest, but it's a quick focusing lens. Um, there's there's no issues with the focusing at all. So that becomes just a, let's just think of it as a standard 60 mil 2.8 lens. That's really nice. Um, I mean, what have I got? The 12 to 35 on there. So 62.8. That's quite a useful range. 120 mil, just as a standard sort of portrait lens. Um, low light capability is pretty good, not quite as good as the 7518, but you know, we're talking uh, probably less than half the price uh, of the 7518. So, just in normal mode, it's a 60mm 2.8, it's lovely. Then you obviously flick into your macro mode, and it becomes a, a real macro master. It's, it really is fantastic macro you're limited by the sensor size in micro four thirds when it comes to macro but ultimately the results are pretty damn good and um, as I say this switch on the side when I first started using it I I thought that was a bit fiddly but now I sort of know how to use it just with your one finger from the bottom there absolutely fine you know no problem at all it's nice and positive um, and actually works really well. So, you know, when I started um, my sort of reviews on these lenses, this wasn't really a lens that I thought I would go for, but now I've used it and reviewed it, and the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking, I think probably for me, it's probably more useful than the, the 7518. Um, Will I get it? I don't know, because I, I still really want this, and I think I'd rather put the money to this, maybe. I don't know. It, this is just a gorgeous lens. Um, but yeah, it, don't don't see this purely as a macro lens. See it as a 60mm 2.8, a really useful lens if you haven't got anything in that range. I mean, I've got a 45 to 175, which is my long telephoto lens, um, but that's a 35 to 56 or 4 to 56. So I haven't got anything in the 60 mil range at 2.8. So this would actually fill a gap quite nicely for me um, and be quite a useful addition. Um, whether I will or not, mm, I'm not sure. I'm going to use it some more over the weekend. I've, I'm only borrowing this. So I've got it for the weekend. So perhaps I'll use it at the weekend, see if I can find some bugs or something to, to do macro. I'm not really good at macro. It's something I want to get into and do more, but... I prefer looking at people's macros. Whenever I go to take a picture of a bug, by the time I've got set up and take, it's gone, long gone, um, I reckon what they do is they, they kill them and then stick them down with super glue and then take the photos. Let me know if you do that. Um, so anyway, back to the lens. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try it, do a bit of prattling around in the garden and that, perhaps go over the nature reserve, have a little play and see how we get on. Because again, the beauty of this system is I don't have to think, oh, well, I'm just going to go out with this one lens. I mean, my 70 to 200 Sigma 2.8 lens was a beautiful lens, but it weighed more Yeah, we're not there yet. Hang on. Probably weighed about that much. So, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five lenses, two cameras, 
you know, it probably weighed about that much. And I'm not joking, that's, that's how much it weighed. And then you stick a body on, I, I could have taken this as well with me. <sighs> loving it, loving it, loving it. So there you go. That's my initial thoughts. Again, I'll put up a couple of pictures that I've taken with this. I haven't got many at the moment, but there will be more to come once I've used it a bit more at the weekend. And uh, so that's just my initial thoughts. And I'll let you know at the end of the weekend whether or not this is also going to be on my wish list. And that's the Olympus 60mm Macro. So this has been GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. I'll see you soon. Bye.